The email campaign tool in PC Recruiter adds tracking and results analysis to the mass emails you send, giving you broader ability to monitor your messages. Building on PCR's existing systems of form letters, roll-up lists, and consent management, this update includes higher functions for managing sends, distributing job lists, improving data quality, and tracking content engagement. Let's see how it works. Once the email campaign features have been activated by your PC Recruiter representative, the new screen will appear wherever you would have seen the legacy bulk email screen, such as on roll-up lists, search results, pipelines, and so on. The first step is to give the campaign a name. This is the title you'll recognize the campaign by in reports, and it will also be put into the activity records on the contacts it's sent to. You'll be able to look up and reuse an existing campaign to include additional recipients later. You'll also place the campaign into a category, which will be used for filtering your campaigns in the analytics later on. The system has predefined categories for business development, job opportunities, marketing, and newsletter, but you can define additional categories under System Email Setup for your own purposes. Now we'll define what the campaign content is by selecting the form letter we want to use and giving the message a subject. Form letters, as always, are composed in the System Form Letters area, but we've added a great new feature to form letters, which we'll cover in a moment. For now, let's continue. The Who section is identical to its counterpart in the legacy bulk email system. The To box will show the recipients, or if the mail is being sent to a large group, it will indicate that it's going to the selected set of records. In the Email field dropdown, we can select which of the fields on the recipient records contains the email address that we want to target. The From field allows us to choose the email alias to use for this campaign. We'll review the email alias screen in a moment as well, because it contains a new option for campaign use. The final panel on this screen defines when we're going to start this campaign. Send Now, as you would expect, queues the mail immediately. The Send Later option allows you to schedule a future date and time for this mail to begin queuing. At the right is an Advanced option, which can be used with either sending method. The first box is an optional cutoff date and time. This will be useful if you're sending a campaign to a large list about an event, holiday, or time-sensitive offer. Any emails remaining in the queue after the selected time will not be sent. This panel also includes options to limit the days of the week and the time range in which this campaign may send. For example, if you don't want mail sent outside of business hours or on weekends. It's important to note that the scheduling tools provided here will control when PC Recruiter is allowed to pass emails to your mail server, not when they're actually sent or received. The delivery speed and timing of your emails may be affected by other campaigns being queued or sent by PCR at the same time, so you'll want to avoid unnecessarily limiting your time range to allow for maximum flexibility. The usual features for attachments and sending options appear on the left side. As a final step, you can use this preview button to see the email rendered as it would appear to the first selected name. If the design and layout of your email is important, it's always a good idea to send a few test messages and try to view the email in various email clients, such as Gmail, Outlook, or Apple Mail, before sending to a large list. When we're ready, we'll click Send. The campaign is now queued, and the Email Sent window gives us search links to display records from the campaign with duplicate email addresses, or records whose emails appear on the system's opt-out list. From this point, all progress is viewed in the Background Tasks window. There's a link to it here, but you can always find the background tasks here at the far right of your PC Recruiter main menu. The background tasks window lists all of your queued and completed campaigns. This link toggles between your own campaigns and all campaigns in the queue. A date filter is also available at the upper right. The action column provides the option to cancel a task in the queue or to delete a task that's already completed. If a campaign is canceled before it has been completed, you'll still be able to see and report on any activity that happened prior to cancellation. Clicking on any campaign will display its progress so that you can monitor what percentage of the messages have been sent, and which specific addresses have or have not been processed. The email content and the list of recipients are stored with the campaign when it's launched, so any subsequent changes to the letter or contacts will have no effect on a launched campaign. If you need to see what the email contained, even if it's been edited or deleted in the meantime, the Review button at the lower right will generate an example, similar to the Preview button we saw earlier. Before we go on to the post-sending analysis, let's check out the changes to form letters and aliases mentioned earlier. First, 
let's look at the email alias list found under the system area. This is where PCR stores your various outgoing email accounts. Many users will only have a single account here, but some may use different accounts or different mail servers for different purposes. The new addition on this panel is the delay between emails box. Entering a time in milliseconds here inserts a pause between each email as they're passed to the listed mail server, which is necessary if the email server you're using limits the rate at which you can send messages. For example, inserting 1000 into the box prevents this account from sending more than one email per second. Now, let's look at the new feature on the form letter composition screen. You'll find the searcher item in the insert fields list. This new merge tag allows you to include a list of positions in your form letter a powerful tool for notifying candidates about your latest opportunities or featured positions in their industry. Each job in the list is automatically hyperlinked to the corresponding position on your PC Recruiter-driven job board. When we select a letter that includes this tag, PCR will prompt us to choose up to 10 jobs we want to insert into the current campaign. Our recently viewed positions appear here, or we can use the search panel above to locate any other available jobs for inclusion. Once we've selected the jobs we want, we click Link to Letter to make the connection. Now that we've built and launched a campaign, let's see how the new tracking works. The stats will show up under this new Email Campaigns menu in the PCR Analytics tool. The Analytics and Email Campaigns are bundled add-ons, so if you have one, you'll also have the other. Here on the Summary panel are the overview statistics for your campaigns. As with the other analytics screens, we can use the filter area at the upper right to limit by date ranges or by campaign categories. The default view shows only your own campaigns, but you can click here to display all campaigns. Further down the page, we can see bar graphs indicating which campaigns had the highest percentage of opens compared to the total number sent, which had the highest number of clicks compared to the total sent, and which had the highest numbers of clicks compared to those which were opened. Clicking on any of these bars takes us to the Details panel and preloads the details for the selected campaign. We can clear out this box and search for other campaigns as well. Here on the Details screen, which is the heart of the campaign analytics, we can view the specifics for the campaign and its recipient records. The Stats panels here show us what percentage of the emails were opened, generated a click, or a reply, what percent bounced, and how many resulted in an unsubscribe. It's important to note that the email open statistics are tracked based on the loading of images in the mail, so those recipients who do not allow the images to load in their email client may not be included in this stat. Tracking email replies and bounces requires the PCR users to sync their email accounts with the database via IMAP or the PC Recruiter portal for Microsoft Outlook. Scrolling down, we can view a graph of the opens, clicks, and so on over the life of the campaign. The Totals panel to the right is where we can drill down into each group. Clicking on any total opens a panel where we can see exactly who the mail was sent to, who opened the mail, who clicked on which links, who sent a reply, which email addresses bounced and with what type of mail server response, and who opted out of our emails. On any of these lists, we can click the name to open it, or select the results to place on a roll-up for future use in searches, data categorization and quality control, or other email campaigns. Any email address that triggers a hard bounce, meaning that the account or the entire domain no longer exists, is automatically flagged and skipped by future campaigns. These stats also influence the appearance of email addresses when you're looking at a person's record in PC Recruiter. As soon as you open any name record, PCR checks to see if any email address in any of their email fields has been tagged as a bounce or an opt-out. Bounced email addresses will appear with a strike-through line, and emails that are opted out will appear in italics. The email campaign functions also enable two new classic PC Recruiter reports, which appear in the Email Campaigns area of the Reports menu. The campaign overview mirrors the same general stats you'll find on the campaign summary in the analytics, it includes a short list of the first 10 people who opened the mail, with those who opened it repeatedly showing up above others, and a list of the most clicked links in the email. The campaign results report outputs the list of opens, clicks, replies, and so on in a printer-ready format. These reports can be enabled or disabled for each user via a user security setting. Main Sequence will be adding even more capabilities to this empowering feature set in future releases.
To get started now, contact your PC Recruiter representative for pricing and setup.